So AGS has responded to my request for some good open world PvP by straight up deleting First Light. <laughs> so we're going to need a new place to PvP, basically. Um, so as you can see, I'm not in my typical environment. <clears throat> I'm actually outside touching grass. We've just spent the week up in Wales, um, had some family stuff go on and just needed a little bit like, of a break, you know what I mean? Um, but I've been watching and seeing what's going on. So just a little update really on, on what's happened on New World and what I'm going to be coming back to and streaming next week. So Season 2 is coming out and AGS are basically going to be asking for more of your money with the release of the Season 2 Battle Pass and the Transmog tokens. Now I don't think there's been confirmation that it's going to cost money but there's hints everywhere that it's basically going to, it's, you're going to need money to then Transmog basically. We don't know how much or anything like that yet but yeah, more money for you to sink into New World. Some of the other bits that I think are quite exciting that's coming with this uh, Season 2 there's a new story, and the new story will be good if they bring some good cinematics, like in-game cinematics. Not these, uh, well, some of the arty-farty ones are not bad, but like good in-game cinematics would be nice. The Sandlot Song here, that's cool. That's a 20-man raid, which will be happening in Brimstone Sands. Something we didn't expect um, initially, but obviously it was on the roadmap, is a 10-man weekly activity. So I think it's like a 10-man expedition, basically a 10-man dungeon, from what I can see. And you can do it many times throughout the week to help you increase your season rewards. But also you can also get some rewards from it as well. The 20 man raid groups are coming with this patch as well, which is which is awesome. I was very, very excited to do the 20 man raid groups in first light, which has been deleted. <laughs> They've got some outpost rush scoring changes, which is great. This is something that we discussed as well. Um, basically, it looks like they're doing more of an objective based scoring system. So the more you fight for the objective, the more you're going to get scored rather than, you know, just high DPS or high healing. It's going to have an impact on what you do and where you do it i believe i hope fingers crossed on that one and then there's a new heart rune the devourer which i think you're probably going to get from defeating the uh the sandworm i think by the time this video goes live the ptr should be live i know it's been delayed by the time of this recording so i haven't had a chance to check anything but i'll be back streaming on tuesday so if you're around we can go check out the ptr we can see what this is all about together um and then in some other news throne and liberty <laughs> the game I've been hyping up because the trailers have blew my fucking mind. Man, I honestly have no words. I know we had we had our concerns about the um, the autoplay, but every stream and every video I've watched, people are just slating the game on how it's basically just a mobile game. Like it's a mobile autoplay, auto battler game, which is not particularly something you want on the PC. So I don't know what to say really on that. I'm sorry for hyping you up so much. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I'm truly gutted, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play it for myself and, and, and see it for myself once they drop the Western beta. Until then, you know, I'm not going to get excited anymore, but it is what it is, man. How disappointing. But yeah, anyway, we've had a really cool trip. We, we hiked up Snowden with Azai and Jack. We started off about 5 a.m. It was freaking early. Had a nice long walk. We got back at about 4, so it was a good, like, 10 hours walking. I can't feel my legs. My body feels broken. I might seem a little bit down. It's because I'm pathetically weak these days too much gaming not enough uh getting out and gymming but yeah absolutely stunning would would 100 percent recommend it we went up a um what was it what was the what was the path called mitz can you remember um the red, red, red red there's um little did i know we went up snowden before but we went up the easy one where the train is there are six different routes up snowden we went up something called one of the routes called what do you do I can't say it's a worse name. Uh, when the woman told me, it sounded completely different to what I was reading. Um, but it was one of the harder routes and one of the more quieter ones. And it was really lovely until it got quite steep. And then near the top, there was just this huge drop off. Um, and we decided we're not going to push on up because, yeah, it's basically life or death at that point. It's very windy, very scary. Um, and yeah, it was beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. So we, we got there, we basically touched the summit and then we made our way down. Um, yeah, it's been a good week. Looking forward to get back into gaming on Tuesday. I've, I've been keeping up on the news 
And yeah, definitely gutted about Throne of Liberty. Maybe they'll change, maybe they'll just remove autoplay from the Western release. Jack's here. I'll show you the van quickly. Oh. But yeah. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Appreciate you. Everyone's getting ready. Hello, Mitch. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so just behind the camera, chilling. Uh, this is the campsite, basically. Rubbish bins. Just a forest. And then other, other campers. Pretty cool, actually. It's been, uh, it's been really good. Probably very close now because I'm on the, the mode, but... Have, a, have an awesome day, have an awesome week, like, subscribe, see you on the next one.